Ladies and gentlemen, almost live from Zenu Studios. This is the most fun you can have with latex. <laughs> with all your clothes on, anyway. You're watching Zen News. Good evening, Mulo, Sunny Bona, Tubela, Dumelang, Ria Locha, Namaste, Ndi Matelone, Huyanant. I'm uh, Hendra Raghunath, and this is my hair. <laughs> Dim the lights, switch off your phones, unplug the TV, and sit tight. You're watching the first edition of the News. Right now, I'd like to welcome our very special guest, the country's President Tabu Mbeki. Mr. President, thank you. It's good to have you here on our first show. Thank you, Mahindra. It is good to still be here. In a moment, we'll be talking to the President about the highs and lows of 2007 and what lies ahead. But first, let's take a look at what's making headlines here and abroad. An SABC spokesperson says the news is a welcome addition to the South African broadcasting scene and living proof that freedom of expression is alive and well in Auckland Park. He said that, having said that, any nonsense and the news would be off the air quicker than a pair of brookies or Britney Spears. <laughs> And in sports news, FIFA lawyers are warning people that they risk prosecution if they use the words 2010, soccer, world and cup, or any combination thereof in an attempt to make money. The lawyers said that to be on the safe side, South Africans should speak only when they are spoken to. <laughs> Cape Town Mayor Helen Zilla, speaking after being charged with participating in an illegal gathering, says it is her democratic right to march with Padlack, People Against Drugs and Liquor Action Committee. I also have a right to talk to Pordo, People Against Walking Dogs on Leashes, the right to have dinner with Papwem, People Against People Who Eat Meat, and the right to associate with Papa Papua, People Against People Who Are Against People Who Are Against Anything At All. 